Welcome to Goodwe Training Series. Today we will take you through the EV Charger G2 unboxing and installation. Unboxing. Here is the EV Charger G2 series box. In the box, there is a document. An accessory pack. Charger. Here are the components included in the accessory box. Introduction of the EV Charger. Take a look at the appearance of EV Charger from different views. Compare with the EV Charger G1. The new charger adds two-way RS-485 communication port and LAN communication port. New charger have external emergency shutoff switch. The charger supports the connection of MID meters. To get meter data and print charging report. The charger comes standard with an AC3 level SPD and leakage current detection protection. Support RFID card charging function. We need to set it up on Solargo. Turn on Bluetooth to connect to the corresponding EV charger. Enter the initial password Goodwe2022. Click on More Options in the upper right corner. Choose EV Card Management. Click Binding Card. Enter the card number or take a picture for identification and the card will be successfully tied up. Swipe card charging is possible now. Solargo can remotely control the charger and support charging reservation. Installation of the charger. The charger is divided into column and wall-mounted type. The video shows a back-mounted installation instruction. Here are the main tools prepared for the installation of EV Charger G2. Please reserve enough space for the charger according to the data in the video. Place the wall mounting plate horizontally on the wall and mark it with a pen. Drill the holes using a 13mm diameter percussion drill. Ensuring a depth of approximately 65mm. Use expansion bolts to attach the mounting bracket to the wall. Tighten the screws to secure the mounting plate to the wall. Then hang the EV charger on the mounting plate and tighten the screws. Fix the dummy socket on the charger side in the same way. Make the three AC wires and crimp on the corresponding terminals. Pass the cable through one end of the AC connector. Secure the other end to the terminal. Final fixing of AC connector. Loosen the screws on the side of the AC con seater. Insert the AC con seater into the AC connection port of the EV charger. Finally, tighten the screws. Mount the RS-485 communication connector in the same way. Plug the RS-485 communication connector into the RS-485 communication port. Don't forget to plug in the network cable. The installation of the EV Charger G2 is now complete. We parked the car in the space and turned on the car charging port. Insert the charging gun into the charging port of the car. Take out your RFID card and swipe it. EV Charger indicator light blinks and then starts to work normally. Swipe the card again to stop charging. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe Training Series, 
please visit our Goodweek community and stay tuned to our official account.